As the electric grid is becoming more complex, there exists a need for better control systems at the household level. A solution to this problem is smart meters. Let's examine one couple from North St. Paul's choice to bring smart meters into their home. Have you seen the smart meter technology our electrical company is offering? No, what's a smart meter? A smart meter is essentially a standard utility meter with varying degrees of built-in intelligence. In our current system, power is mostly unidirectional. This means that the power flows from the utility to the consumer with no feedback. The power use is recorded by an external meter, which is then read by a meter reader monthly. A smart meter adds communication and control features. Data is continuously communicated between the utility company and homeowner, giving us the capability to monitor our electrical energy consumption. This eliminates the need for meter readers to personally visit homes. Okay, I'm still a little confused. What will this do for us? The benefits come from cost savings. Our friends in Jordan, Minnesota have a smart meter from the Minnesota Valley Electrical Cooperative. Ryan Hentage has told me that by installing smart meters for all of their customers, they have been able to run incentive programs such as Beat the Peak Energy Challenge. This was an effort to reduce consumption in the summer and raise money for charity. Another program MVEC runs is free installation of Wi-Fi thermostats which help reduce residential consumption when demand is high. Additionally, the power company can reduce power disruptions, incorporate more renewable energy sources, and provide prepaid energy options. Do you know anyone that uses this? Our neighbor Bruce has a similar installation. Excel Energy provides a smart meter that uh, is active in the summer during the air conditioning season, and it turns off my air conditioner on for, for uh, hot days during, during hours uh, when they want to save uh, um, on the peak uh, load, it will shut my air conditioning compressor off for 15 minutes uh, out of an hour. And um, that way uh, I, I don't notice it and I have never noticed that the house seemed to be getting warm or anything like that. And they give me a 15% discount on all of the electricity during that summer period just, just to have this meter running. But what about all the potential risks? Radiation is one potential risk, but a smart meter only admits as much radiation as a cell phone, a microwave, wireless internet transmitters, and even bananas. But if you don't believe me, let's see what an expert has to say. This is a cell phone. If I put it up to my ear and talk on it, I'm getting a lot more radiation because of the distance to my, to my brain than I would from a, a wireless system used in my house. If you have a computer Wi-Fi in your house, you're already doing it. But what about my privacy? I was concerned about that too, so I emailed our lawyer earlier today. Typically, service providers who gather personal information are free to exploit the data. However, more stringent rules can be enacted to forbid such uses of the data. A similar example is the HIPAA privacy rule, which is for healthcare. Wireless smart meters pose an additional risk that third-party members may intercept a signal, but that would violate criminal and civil electronic surveillance law. Data about the use of energy can allow people to make some guesses about when you are home and your activities within the home, but that information is not as revealing as location data from GPS, smart cars or smartphones, web surfing activity that is potentially captured by providers like Google, or spending patterns revealed by shopping loyalty cards. Okay, you've pretty much convinced me, but why would the utility of North St. Paul want to install smart meters? Smart meters allow electrical companies to gather more data than ever before. Now they can track voltage, determine where a new plant may be needed, identify outages, and provide overall better system planning by knowing when and where upgrades are needed. Furthermore, implementation of smart meters and improvements on current policy will allow electric utilities to price electricity in a more efficient way. I spoke with Elizabeth Wilson about the use of dynamic pricing and smart meters. Capture the value of a smart meter, having a policy that also encourages dynamic pricing is pretty important. Um, having policies that encourage the adoption of home energy management and, and behavioral modification programs could also be very useful. You know, my friend Ned was even telling me about the benefits for utilities. In uh, future power systems, I think if you know the nature of the load you have, uh, you know, utilities can better estimate what their system is doing or will do under certain contingency.
By installing a smart meter in our home, we can help ourselves, our neighbors, and all of North St. Paul have a more sustainable power grid.